So the goals of the experiment are to detect what are called gravity waves at the created at the earliest moments of the universe. And it's almost impossible to understand how early it is. It's 10 to the minus 35 seconds after the Big Bang. And the universe is hypothesized to have undergone what's called an inflationary era there, where space moved away from each other, expanded at faster than the speed of light. And with that crazy hypothesis, it fits all kinds of features of the universe that we see around when we, when we look. But it needs a real test. Uh, and that test is whether or not gravity waves were created. So a gravity wave is something that uh, happens during the time when there are intense gravitational fields. And so a gravity wave that was created then will have a pattern where space got compressed in one dimension and then expanded in the other direction and alternately compressed and expanded. And that gravity wave leaves a signature on the microwave background radiation that is still present today and that's the kind of thing we're trying to detect. And it would be a, a window at, at physics at very, very high energies, very, very early times. And it's, it's quite unique in that respect. So there are a total of uh, 13 institutions in QUIET, uh, including the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, uh, which is associated with Caltech. And they have made these very, very sensitive modules that directly detect the polarization, the direction that the electric field in the light tends to line up in. And it's from measuring the polarization that we get a handle on these gravity waves. So we have had to take these modules and put them all together and optimize them and calibrate them, choosing 10 different voltages that go on these modules which give the best performance. And we use that rotating wire grid in order to do that and that creates a polarization which then the modules see and then one can rotate the grid, uh, determine how sensitive the modules were, change the voltages on the modules, rotate it again and over a six hour period or so, one can take the entire array and improve it by a, an enormous factor. Our, our observing site is in Chile. It's in the high desert, the Atacama Desert. Uh, it's about 17,000 feet and it's very dry and uh, that's important because this microwave radiation gets absorbed by water vapor and so we want to have as clean a viewing as possible. So that's why we do our observing there. And uh, it's very exciting. There's, you know, 10 experiments or so that are going after this target. And uh, ours has, you know, different techniques than others. I can't say whether ours is the best or not, but it's very exciting to be in this game.